Howdy, everybody. Join me for five minutes. Today, Bubba got to leave the studio and do a show about glass. Me, I got to stay here. But you go with him. Have fun. People have been working with it for over 5,000 years. You see it around you every day, but don't think about it much. In fact, it would be pretty hard to imagine our life without it. It comes from this, sand, but it's born of fire. To create glass, you need silica sand. Silica sand is actually quartz that has been ground down by the wind and the centuries into a fine powder. Then, you need to heat that powder up to over 2,300 degrees Celsius until it melts. The first origins of man-made sand were in ancient Mesopotamia or ancient Egypt, where it was used to create ornamental art, beads, and later even windows. But back then, glass was only for the very rich and powerful. We're visiting an artist called Erez. Erez's family has been working with glass for over 40 years. Erez himself created his first creation at the age of 13 and has been practicing this art form ever since. The first thing Erez is gonna create today is a porcupine using a technique called glass blowing. In order to see the details better and protect our eyes, first we gotta put on these cool UV glasses. Let's go! He's used the fire to close the thick end. The thick end is going to become the porcupine's body. As you can see, he continually spins his hands, otherwise gravity would take over and the piece of glass would just fold down. While he's maintaining the heat of the porcupine's body, he slowly starts adding the spikes. If he didn't maintain the heat of the body, the glass would either crack or the spikes would not stick to it. Erez is gonna put the eyes on our porcupine. Now, Erez is reheating the point and breaking it off. This is going to be the porcupine's nose. Now, Erez is going to create a mushroom pendant using a technique called lampwork. He starts by taking a clear glass rod and making a ball. After allowing the ball to cool a little, he's gonna re-eat the far end. Now watch what happens as he puts the stringer into the clear glass ball. As the glass of the stringer goes through the hot end, it melts. Then when it reaches the cooler part, it's attracted back to the heat, creating a mushroom shape. He's heating the ball up in order to make it smooth on the bottom. Can you see that red hot mushroom inside? He's heating up his point in order to disconnect the rod and make a loop at the end to pass a string or a chain through. Now he's using these tweezers that his family makes themselves in order to create the loop. The last stage is to reheat the glass and smooth out any points left. And the colors appear in the glass. When finished, all the glass pieces have to go into a kiln to undergo what's called the kneeling process. The kneeling process allows the glass to cool in a controlled manner, relieving internal stress. This way, the glass remains at the same temperature throughout until it slowly gets down to room temperature. If he didn't do this, the glass would crack just like an ice cube in a glass of water. 